save a cubic metre of water, or we, uh, if we save a drop of water, we don't have to take it from the river, from groundwater resources, which is an environmental plus. We don't have to store it, which means we can save the cost of storages, transport, treat it, distribute it, heat some of it. Hot water is actually one of the highest uh, potential reductions in greenhouse gas emissions that we have in a lot of residences uh, in many countries is because of hot water. And so we've got a huge potential for greenhouse gas reduction at low cost by saving hot water. Uh, collecting wastewater, transporting it, treating the wastewater again, disposing of it or reusing it. Reuse actually costs energy as well and paying for all of this, so the avoided costs. And uh, these uh, benefits uh, are obtained from a whole variety of different players, different actors in the system. There's the water company, uh, there are the customers, uh, and of course there's the environment. Um, and we can defer large-scale capital works, we can save millions of dollars uh, in either over-investment or too early an investment, uh, save energy, which of course uh, nowadays is extremely important because of greenhouse gas emissions, uh, improve customer service just by providing uh, being able to provide a, uh, a water supply that's less interrupted uh, is improving customer service. Um, reducing wastewater flows and protecting the environment. And I would just highlight that all of these potential benefits are very location specific. It depends critically where you are, what those, which ones of these are most important. And I just wanted to um, just stop for a minute and ask if there are some examples from your experience in your country of which are the most important uh